This video will introduce you to one of the strengths of the EBSCOhost system, its limiting features. If you have used the EBSCO system previously, you are probably familiar with the basics of searching and finding articles within the system. If not, you can watch our basic searching video to get up to speed. When you use the limiting features, you're telling the database to eliminate items from the search results that you won't find helpful. Once you set the search limits, the database will search through all the articles in the system and eliminate those that don't match your criteria, which means your search results will only include those articles that match the limits that you set. And here are some of the current limit options that are available. Publication type. You can choose what type of publication you want your articles to come from. So if you want newspaper or magazine articles or journal articles, you can set that. You can also set a full text limit option so that any result that comes back will be available immediately and you can read it, print it, or send it via email. You can also limit by date of publication. So if you're looking for articles that were published within a certain time frame, you can set that. And you can also limit by number of pages. You will find within the EBSCOhost system many articles that are very, very short, less than a half a page, for example. So you can set the number of pages limiter to find articles that are greater than, say, two pages. So if you're looking for more substantive information, this can be a helpful limit option for you. Okay, so that's an overview of some of the limit options that are available. Let's go into the EBSCOhost system and see how they work. We'll be working with the advanced search screen within the EBSCOhost system. You'll notice the usual search boxes at the top of the screen, but we're going to focus our attention scrolling down near the bottom to all of these limit options that are currently available. So what you can do is enter your search words in the top search boxes. And then you can scroll down and you can start adding various limiters. And we'll go over the ones that I mentioned previously. This is the full text limit option. So if you want to find articles that are available immediately online for reading, viewing, or printing, you can place a check in this box. If you're looking for scholarly peer-reviewed journals, you can place a check in this box. And here is the date limit option. So you can set your time frame. And when you're ready, you can hit the search button, and your search will execute, and it will apply all of those limit options. So all of the articles that came back should be available in a full text format, and it looks like all of these are. And they should all come from uh, scholarly peer-reviewed journals as well. If you want to apply more limit options, you can simply scroll over to the right, click on the search options link, and a screen will pop up. So you can add more limit options or take some of them off. And that's how you use limit options.